Don't laugh. The camera's looking at you. Don't let all the air out. I'm trying not to. That's precious. I done had one to blow away on me and I about died. <laughs> Don't you put that all there. You gonna pass out? You gonna pass out? <laughs> well, I didn't say you was gonna turn into a pig. <laughs> you should have got that, baby. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing here is I am putting these balloons on this decorating strip. And this is actually the first time I've ever used a decorating strip and I'm quite impressed because I wasn't sure how it was gonna work but I am loving how this is coming out it's coming out so cute and it also if you're interested we'll link this below this is the um, kit that I got and it comes with a little glue tabs that you can like fill in on the balloon arch which is really cool and I haven't really got to do ba, that ba, ba, sheep. black sheep have you any wool so these are really easy. You just put this little knotted piece in the big hole mm -hmm. and then you slide it down to the little one so it will hold. So in, slide, and they're that easy. It's the coolest thing. I am so impressed with this. I would use this like, like every party, I think. These are the coolest arches. Mm -hmm. So this is Miss Piggy, and I got my inspiration off the internet. I looked up faces of pigs. And so the only thing I did differently was I put the eyelashes on this one. The way I did it was I took a pencil and I just sketched onto the actual pumpkin after it was painted pink. And she also has a glam tail. Oh my goodness, a tail. Shouldn't that be down here? <laughs> <laughs> Well, she has no legs, but she does have a tail. She does have a tail. That seems appropriate. Okay, so we got most of our ideas for these pumpkins from Pinterest. There wasn't a whole lot of a selection there, but there was some cute ones that I liked. Also, for my baby shower for Simeon, my sister did like kind of, she didn't paint the pumpkins, I don't think, but she decorated them and put like little baby like bonnets and hats on them. So. That was an idea that I really liked. So, I don't know, I just thought that the farm pumpkins, it would just be fun to decorate them and just have fun doing them and they would look really cute like they do because they're adorable. <laughs> I really like how they turned out. And so, let's see. Teresa did the pig. Uh, Nathan and I did the sheep. I did the chick and let's see, I did this cow. Teresa did this cow, and Mama did the horse and this little pig. They're kind of different than the other animals. The horse was a team effort. Mom and Teresa worked on this very intently. Say, so my birthday party's tomorrow, and I'm really excited. I'm turning two. Not tomorrow, though. We're just doing your party a little early because it is Maine, and you never know what's going to happen in November. In fact, let me take you outside and tell you about the weather right now. Okay, everybody, as you can clearly tell, I have a massive, massive winter coat on, and that's because it's actually that cold outside. It's supposed to dip down to about 24 tonight, 25 degrees. Uh, that's very cold for the month of October. And right now it's about 35 degrees or so, 36 degrees. So Simeon's birthday is actually not until November the 10th, but we're celebrating it on October the 31st. We tried to move his birthday party up a couple of weeks because of the weather. And as it goes, we picked the coldest weekend in the month of October. It's a cold front that's coming through and next week it's supposed to be warmer. So it's too late now. We've already made plans. My parents are leaving Monday, so it has to be this weekend or they're not gonna get to enjoy it. So it's just one of those deals where you plan and prepare and hope for the best. And if the weather doesn't cooperate, you just continue with your plans the best you can. So we're awfully excited to be celebrating Simeon's second birthday. He is a precious, precious, precious gift from God. 
and he fills our life with so much joy I don't have the words to adequately express it. I will share a little short story though. Maybe you fathers and mothers out there understand this. I never understood this until I had Simeon. Recently he fell asleep and he was laying right beside me in bed. And uh, you know, as, as you well know if you follow this channel, Simeon sleeps between Cheyenne and I and his Docatot. Well, I was missing Simeon because he was asleep and not awake. He was right beside me, but I was still missing him because he was asleep. <laughs> and so that's just a short little story to tell you how much he has captivated my heart. And uh, I'm sure Cheyenne would say the same or even more because you can't replicate a mother's love. Take his two-year-old photos. We're up on Clary Hill, and I think this is going to be a beautiful place to take photos. All right, good morning guys. Today is the day, the special day. But let me talk to you a little bit about what we're doing over here. You saw me early this morning come over here and start the grill and get things going. I'm cooking a pulled pork and smoking it for several hours. In fact, it's been on now for about four hours smoking. The temperature is 145, 146 degrees. I've still got to wrap the pulled pork. As far as my seasoning goes, I'm using just a typical Weber's traditional seasoning. I'm just gonna put these tablecloths on these picnic tables. And for the drinks, which I've already taken them out of their boxes, I'm gonna put ice in here. Oh, and I'd then we'll just put all the drinks in there and people can just grab them out of the wheelbarrow. Just the top of the wheelbarrow oh, good idea, Shania. Just folded this in like here. that. Yeah. Good idea. Good shy.
walk together. Let's go see the chickens and the cows. Let's go see. Look at the tractor. Let's see. <laughs> wow. Look, Cindy. Look. 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 Yeah. Do you like your party? Do you approve? Good party, Daddy? Good party, Mommy? Good party, everybody? Get it, son. with his tongue out. <laughs> He's doing it on beat, too. Oh, 
Bueno, bueno.